Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about this Amcrest NVR and how you can connect different cameras. As you can see, I have already a Amcrest camera connected to the NVR. It's open here so you can see that I have a hard drive, it's recording. But I don't have only Amcrest camera, I have also different cameras. As you can see here in the screen, that's the NVR, the Amcrest NVR. Here you see a real link camera and then an Amcrest camera, channel number two. Then I have another real link camera, a Wi-Fi camera. And finally, a high vision camera, right? They are connected via OnVIF protocol, which is the universal protocol, right? Let me just take a look here at the screen so you can see that's the real link camera I'm talking about. Okay, so it's a good camera. There is a cable that I can connect to the camera and I can connect to the NVR. So basically, I'm connecting this camera. As you can see here, it's uh, here close to my window. So there is a cable leaving the camera and the cable, it's arriving here at the NVR, right? So here I have two different cables, as you can see, two yellow cables here. One is going to the real link camera and the other one is coming here to this camera, to this Amcrest, right? So Amcrest is using here basically the Amcrest protocol and the other cable that goes to the real link camera uses the on VIF protocol, okay? So back here to the screen again, you see it's a good camera from Real Link using cable. It's a camera that's uh, for outdoor use, so you can have the camera under the rain and sun and things like that, and it works pretty fine, right? So something interesting about this camera is that it has the on VIF protocol. Let me just hit here, Control F, so basically I was looking here for the OnVIF word here on this page because this is the page that talks everything about Real Link, right? The Real Link camera. But I cannot find the information about the OnVIF protocol, okay? But still, this camera has the OnVIF protocol. I know because if I come here to the OnVIF webpage, I can come here to the confirmant products and look for the manufacturer. Let's say, for example, here, a manufacturer real link. I can just type here, real link, here you go. And here, the camera that I have is the RLC 510. Let me just type here 510A. That's the camera that I have. And here we go, RLC 510A. That's the camera. And it's using the OnVIF Profile T, okay? It was approved. So it has the OnVIF protocol. I don't know why it's not showing up here on the web page, but it has the, the protocol, right? And then based on that, I can connect the camera to the network as I have here in this diagram. You see that I have my NVR connecting to the camera. Here is the Amcrest camera, the one that I have here on my desk connecting directly via cable to the switch here, internal switch in the NVR. And the other cable goes to the real link camera, as you can see here in the diagram, okay? So basically that's the interface that gives an IP to the camera and also powers the camera via power over ethernet. So I don't need a power supply for this camera, neither for this camera, right? And the IP address range here is 10.1.1. something here and here. So the camera gets an IP directly from the NVR using the DHCP protocol. And in the other interface of the NVR, I'm connected to the router. As you can see here, I have another interface here that connects to my router. And then I have some cameras connected to the router and I can also see the cameras here on, on the NVR and record them, right? Back to the diagram, as you can see here. So I basically connect into my router. The router gives the NVR an IP with this range, 192.168.0.x. And I also have my laptop with the same range and the camera and another camera here, right? So you see in green here, they are in the same range in the internal network here, in the internal LAN port of the NVR, okay? So basically the NVR is going to handle two different IP ranges which is connected here via cable directly to the NVR and the ones that are connected to the router. So I have my IP camera here. That's another real link connecting via Wi-Fi and it can communicate with the router via Wi-Fi and the router can communicate with the NVR. It's the same for this camera here. That's the high vision camera connected via cable 
to a PoE switch and it's also connected to the router, then I can have them here in my NVR, okay? So pretty basic. Let me just show you here in the NVR what I mean. So as you can see here, that's the real link camera and uh, that's with the cable, okay? Directly connect to the NVR. That's the Amcrest camera, also the cable. You see the symbol here on the top? That means it's directly connected via cable and it's powered via PoE, okay? This one as well. And this one is connected via uh, Wi-Fi, okay, also real in camera. And this one is the camera, um, the uh, high vision camera, sorry. Also connected here to my NVR, right? Uh, via LAN interface, via router as well. Okay, it's cable connected to my router, right? So let me just right click here so you can see the details here on the network. You see my NVR, it has this IP range 192.168.0. something, in this case, .224, which is getting from the router back here to the diagram. You see the details. So here is the interface that I'm talking about. Okay, it's getting the IP from the router. Okay. And when I come here to the cameras, you see that I have cameras with different IPs 10.1.1. something and 192.168.0. something. That's what I'm talking about. Back to the diagram, just to make everything clear here. You see different IPs range, 10.1.1. something for those cameras and 192.168.0 for those cameras right here, okay? So it works pretty well. You can have directly connection and you can have connection via your router. It doesn't matter if it's cabled or it, it's connected via Wi-Fi. So back here to the NVR, you see that I have this camera here is an Amcrest. The second one is an Amcrest and the first one is the real link. So when I click here on edit, you see that I'm using the own VIF protocol for this camera. Okay. And then I need to insert the username and password and then if you can connect the camera pretty easy. Okay. And here the second camera, see the protocol is different because this is the Amcrest camera. So I don't need to use own VIF here. Pretty basic. Let me just show you here how it works. When I select the camera here, that's the uh, real link. I click here to delete save and the camera goes and come back because then if you're looking for the camera actively looking for the camera in the network and finds the camera that is connected directly to the NVR you see here the sta status is red because something is wrong perhaps the password probably the password and usually you just need to connect here to the port back here you see that I'm connecting here to, the, to this port and the camera is back there close to my window Okay, as you can see. And then as long as I have connected here, then if you are, can find it, right? Because it uses the own VIF protocol. So back here, I need to come to the camera because it's not connecting. I need to come here and input the password. I have a password just for testing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, I'm not gonna use a weak password like this, but it's just for testing. I hit connect here and I save and I wait for the status to change to green. And you see, now it's green, it's connected to the camera. So pretty easy, okay? As long as you have the camera connected to the NVR and the camera has the own VIF protocol, the NVR is going to find the camera in the network and add the camera here. You just need to input the password. So pretty easy to add any own VIF camera here in this um, Crest NVR. And now I have here the camera connected and live, okay? Pretty easy as you can see, okay? So that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.